sweaters. I won't. Oh, and your brother called you last night from San Diego. San Diego? What's he doing out there? I don't know. He said something about a comic convention? Comic convention. Good, let him stay out there. He's probably calling to borrow money. I don't think so. He said something about finding a G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip in it to replace yours. Oh. That is so cute, honey. I had no idea you still played with little toys. Andrew, please, we were kids. He tied it to his string on a stray dog and it ran away with it. Cool. Don't get any ideas. Yeah. He really needs to grow up. Oh, Andy? No, not Andy, my brother. He's a grown man parading around as a comic geek buying old overpriced toys. It's ridiculous. Mom, can we go to the comic convention too? Absolutely not. Oh, man. Well, I just think it's ridiculous that you haven't spoken to him in so long. Oh, and don't forget, we're going to my mother's this weekend. I really have a lot of work, especially with the quarterly reports, a possible promotion, my boss breathing down my neck. I just don't have the time to sit around and watch your mother's display of botched ashtrays she's been working on in her pottery class. Mommy. Why don't you go? Mommy. And take the kids. Mommy. Because we're a family. Mommy. I remember marrying a woman Mom. who said, Mom. better family means a better Mommy. community means better. The state Mommy. country world. Mommy. Yes, I remember Mom. it. Fine. Mommy! What is it, Sammy? There's a fine squid break dancing in my closet. We went over this a million times. There is no such thing as flying squid. But I see no, you them. don't, sweetie. It's just your imagination. I think Samantha's going crazy again. Shut up, Andy. Oh, look at the time. I'm going to be late. Have you seen my briefcase? It's on the table by my mother's botched ashtrays. Mom, coach is starting here. You want to see what? Thank you. See you all later. Mom. Andy, what is it? Are you going to see me play? No, I can't. I work. Oh. Oh. Never mind, Mommy. Captain Mammy captured the flying squid. Who? Captain Whammy, her imaginary friend. I'll see you all later. Thomasina. Good morning, Mr. Tuffnet. Good morning, good morning. Uh, Thomasina, how long have you been working for us now? Oh, I would say about... And you're one of our finest workers. Thank you, Mr. Tuffnet. You know, there's a big promotion coming up. Yes, Mr. Tufnick, I do. And guess whose name came up with the board? Mine? Absolutely not. Mind it. Oh. Yes, sir, Mr. Jake Tufnick, CEO. But don't you friend, because guess who is going to be my number two man? Me? Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Tufnick. You won't and regret it. And my number two man, I'm going to need you to stand in for me this weekend and lead the, lead the presentation for a name client coming in. That would be an honor, sir. Oh, but I forgot I planned this thing with my promise, my family. Family? Thomasina, family time is so 1980. Here's all you need. I get started right away. I mean, it is Thursday. Yes, sir, Mr. Tufnick. I'll jump right on there it. There you go. I really appreciate this, Thomasina. I promised the missus that I'd take her and the kids over to her mother this weekend. You know what they say? A man who came on a good business came on a great family. I leave you to your work.
my small happy friend, is the sweet smell of stress. Thomasina here has been working on the Rotterdam language account. Did she take any calls? No. Did she have any lunch? Barely! She worked all day? <laughs> she worked all day in Mr. Sun's basketball game. Gee, hey, Captain Lammy, was she always like this? No, Chester, but just like sleeping, eating, and drinking. Stress has become part of her life. Now that is wacky. Wacky indeed. Did I mention how much she hated this job? Then why did she do it, Captain Whammy? Why did she do it? That ugly green monster in the wrong hands can make nations hide and buildings crumble. Godzilla? Just go look her up. Oh, money. I can't believe I thought it was Godzilla. <laughs> Sure is funny looking. Shh, she can hear you. What's going on here? Welcome to Clownzo, where friends all gather around so just to see what's new with you and how today. Ooh, ooh. Welcome to Clownzo, where we all stand out in a crowd so where your dreams step out of your dreams and come to play. Hello, friend. Hello? My name is Ricky, I can pull a rabbit out of a hat. How you gonna do it? How am I gonna do what? Bring our Tom Tom back. Who? Tom Tom. Welcome to Clownville, where the songs are sing out of Clownville, where the gums are trees and... Hey you, how's your day? Would someone please tell me what in the world is going on here? that you are presently partaking in a sort of self-quest, if you will. To get a grasp on your current situation, and I suppose I was inquiring about your current physical and mental status? What? She's asking if you're okay, dummy. <sighs> Am I okay? I don't even know what's going on here. I was at work, I dozed off, and I'm over with that sober over there, hovering over me like a cloud. Hey, you be nice. <laughs> I have tons of work to do, a deadline to me, and that's it. I must be dreaming. I'm simply stressed out and hallucinating. One, two, three. Hello, friend. I believe I can help you understand what's happening here. You see, your life is a lot like a card trick. Ooh. Now, pick a card. Now, without showing me a card, place it anywhere in the deck. Now, is this your card? Nope. <laughs> How about this one? No. <laughs> Are you sure you're picking it right? 
I get up and go to work and sit at my desk and gather all the possible stress that I can. I sit at my job, it's only Monday and I don't know how I'ma get by another week. Somebody set me free. I sometimes wish I could just win the lottery. But instead, my boss he calls me into his office, and he says, "You're fired." Uh, it's still a work in progress, but maybe you can help us finish it. What color is your cubicle? Gray. Are there plenty of pleasant people there? Eh. Do you engage in the occasional office supply thievery? What? Do you steal office supplies, dummy? Who doesn't? What's on your cubicle wall? Four restaurant menus, three pictures, two cancer walk buttons. And a partridge in a pear tree. Sorry. Good money? Not bad. 
satisfying work? <gasps> hey, I thought you were a mime. Eh, too much work. Besides, who would want to be in a show without any lines? If I'm being perfectly honest, I hate my job. The people there annoy me. They're a bunch of brown nosing. Then why are you so eager to get back? Okay, fine. I'll give you guys 45 minutes, but not a minute more. Phenomenal! I hope you realize I'm giving up my lunch break for this. Wow, your lunch break. So cool. Let's give it up for Mother Teresa over here. <laughs> Us puppets! Clown villains! In honor of Thomas Eden the Great's decision, I will make this football disappear! Hocus? Pocus? <laughs> Presto! <laughs> Did you call? No. <laughs> just hold. We're in the middle of a film. That's a good point. Does anyone have a computer I can use? Ooh, I'm the proprietor of an FGX expandable quantum fourth generation PC. Although it isn't very modern. What? Here's an old computer, dummy. That's great. I can use it to email my job and tell them I'm going to be running late. Where is it? Right this way. Wait till you see this little piece of junk. Hush, puppet. How do I turn it on? Please, allow me. Hocus, Pocus, Boudicus, Cow. I order that computer to turn on now. Just kidding, just hit the on switch right there. Okay. Do you mind? No, not at all. I'm out to lunch. Look at her type. She's like a little finger wizard. Be back in 45 minutes. You spelled minutes wrong, dummy. Oh, uh, how do I... I got it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, thank you? Okay, minutes. And send. So what's the deal with you guys? Is this some kind of reality show? Wow, she really doesn't remember. Remember what? So tell me, the world is uh, dying to know. What's your name? Thomasina. I'm Wawa, and that's Barkley. Hey. I'm some Peter Clown. Captain Whammy. Duster the Duster! I'm Charlie Quinn. And I'm Tricky the Great. Oops. I'm Nameless. Nameless? Then what do I call you? You don't want to do that. You don't. I'm quite strong. And I am Wendleton. Ha! Wendleton. Who names a kid Wendleton? Hush, puppet. And who are you? Me? Give me a J! J! Give me a T! T! Give me an E! E! Give me a V! V! And what is that spell? The name's Puppet. So, who are you guys? Oh, don't mind us. We're just a part of the um, zombie. Hi. 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 So, we finished introductions. Now what? Well, why don't you tell us a story? Yeah. Yeah. Me? A story? Yeah, sure. You know, like while we're waiting. I have a better 
idea. Why don't you tell me a little bit about Tom Tom? Because you already know a lot of bit about her. Like, who was she? She's Tom Tom. I think I liked you better as mine. Come on, guys, help me out. Don't worry, we know you'll find her. Why don't you tell me about her? Any information will do. How am I supposed to find her? If you give me no clue. Was she short or was she tall? Was she in the paddle ball? Was she fat or was she thin? Does she maybe have a twin? How am I supposed to find her? find the duck bill we left the duck hat at home whoopsie objection your honor we had no prior knowledge of this witness so that we may have properly prepared to cross-examine her overruled have a seat donald duck oh. now your full name is in fact donald duck is it not yes that is my name and what do you do for a living i am a professional cartoon character ah but you are always a professional cartoon character objection your honor she's leading the witness Overruled, the witness will answer the question. No, I wasn't always a cartoon character. And Donald wasn't always your name either, was it? No, it wasn't. Could you please state your birth name for the court, please? Uh, yes, it was Scarface Duck. <gasps> Scarface Duck. And what was your occupation? Well, I'm not too proud of it, but I was a duck dealer. <gasps> you guys cut that out? A duck dealer? Were you smuggling illegal ducks? No, I used to stand on the street corners and sell quack. Shame on you, Scarface Duck. Shame on you. And why did you stop selling quack? I always dreamed of being a cartoon character. I worked hard, and boy, here I am. So it's safe to say everyone has dreams? Yes. Even... Don't see them with you? Yes. No further questions, Your Honor. You may step down now. Hush is great. You are heard from, and she gets all the applause. See, Thomasina, everyone has a dream. Hey, where'd you get that? This. Well, I am an avid toy collector, and especially fond of those collectible pieces that emulate tactical combat infantry. This meticulous figure holds an endearing place just below my left ventricle. Figuratively speaking, of course, as it was an endowment from an associate. What? Tom Tom gave a troll dummy. Wow, well, I used to have one of these when I was little. Looking back, there was a time when I used to say, How cool would it be to own a toy store? Store that sold toys and ice cream. But I guess that's every kid's dream. It's not too late, you still can make it happen. All that you need is drive and a dream to be what you really want to be. What'd you say? All that you need is 
has a dream after all. It would be kind of cool, but... No, I already have a job. Of course, I hate it at times, but I can't afford to leave right now. Why not, Yellow Belly? Well, I just can't up and quit. What about my responsibilities? What will my family and friends say? What if it fails? What if my promotion allows me for bigger and better things? Bigger and better things? I thought you hated your job. I do, but maybe if I had a better position. Wait, 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 wait. I was at your job earlier. Your boss said he was the one getting the promotion. Holy butt kissing, Chester. You're right. Thomas and he's only gonna be his number two. Number two? Number two? Number two? Whoopsie, I think I made it number two. Ew! Thomasina, this is precisely why you must commence in your journey in finding Tom Tom. What do you mean? Oh, let's go for a ride. Ooh, 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 can I go, can I go, can I go? Sure, Wawa, let's go. <coughs> That's it, this car is you. And this GPS is Tom Tom. You're driving the highway of life. Beautiful scenery on one side, smooth roads below you, and blue skies above. <sighs> All of a sudden, you see a sign. That reads your goal. 20 miles. So you go a little faster. One on your side. 19 and a half miles later, your Tom Tom tells you, to make a left on your next exit. Make a left on your next exit. You're a little hesitant, so you start pumping your brakes. Now you're losing momentum. Before you know it, your passengers start backseat driving. Don't turn, you've been this road for miles. You don't know where it's gonna take you. Yeah, and what if you make that left and there are no gas stations? And what if there's bumper to bumper traffic? All the while, your Tom Tom tells you. Make a left, make a left, make a left. These navigation systems are not always accurate. They can on occasion be quite flawed. So instead of turning, you dial your Tom Tom. You remain on the safe road with the beautiful scenery. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but for, for the rest of the road, you're gonna wonder. I wonder what would happen if you had taken the other road. I see your point. Open that toy store, Thomasina. Take that left and let it out. There you go, Thomasina. Let it out. It may not make much sense to others, but it does to you. And that's what matters most. Ready, Freddy, Eddie, and Teddy went to the deli to buy Mario and Teddy some Daddy Schroeder's Daddy and Cow. Ready, Freddy, Eddie, and Teddy went to the deli to buy Mario and Teddy some Daddy Schroeder's Daddy and Cow. Look, that's not what my song is about. I'm letting it out. Forget it for a cow. practicing karate in the dealership.
Cena's magical toy store. The playpen. The toy box of justice. Life's intricate elations. Clownsville. Right. So are you going to pursue it? Maybe. As soon as the phone's off hold, call your brother and tell them and tell them all about it. See, that's a problem. What is? See, I haven't spoken to my brother in eight years. Yes! Eight years? Right in the classroom! See ya! What did he do that was so bad? I vaguely remember. So let me get this straight. You haven't spoken to your brother and you don't even know why? I vaguely remember. Boy, that sure is silly. What is? Your face. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but honestly, it really doesn't make much sense. What doesn't? Your face. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, very funny. Oh, where are my manners? Get out of here, those. Carry what? What you carrying? I'm not carrying anything. I think you are. No, I'm not. I think you are. Then what? What what? What, what am I carrying? Hey! Come and see them. Come on down. Get a next contestant. that transpired between you and your older sibling. What? What happened between you and your brother, dummy? Well... <laughs> Thomas is going to tell us a Betty Bar story. Yeah! Well, ever since we were kids, everyone liked him better than they did me. He was popular, a cool kid, and always better at everything. I didn't mind too much. He was my hero, too. But it started kind of to wear on me as we got older. I remember one day I went to try out for the basketball team. I knew I'd make it, being that my brother was on the varsity team and ill. I figured he'd put in a good word for me. And I bet you were the first person on the list. Sure was. First one to get cut. <laughs> oh. I even went to the coach and asked him if there was a mistake. I told him who my brother was, and he said my brother never said anything about me coming to try out. Well, looks like you brought this on yourself. What? You got tired of being in your brother's shadow. And without knowing it, you threw that vibe out into the universe. Your brother probably caught that negative vibe. And figured you didn't want his help. Otherwise, he'd probably put in a good board for you. That's not true. He was a selfish show-off. Well, it looks to me like you guys are going to take her. To the bank? No. To the library? No. To the downtown Greensboro Museum? No. Take me where? And what's her problem? Looks like she's back to mime and give her some space. Two words! First word! Second word! Mountain! Simply, how on earth did you come up with that idea? Oh, I saw this movie yesterday. friend is the biggest mountain in all of Clownsville. Why is it called Funk Mountain? Because that's what Tom Tom named it. Yes, and Tom Tom was quite the connoisseur when it came to all that was funky. Are you ready? Let's go.
of your life. Because when you send out negativity, hey, Goofy! Hey, Goofy! Hey, Dummy! Hey, Dummy! Ouch, that kind of hurt. You get back negative. But when you send out positive, I love you, Wawa! I love you, Wawa! Wendleton is quite the intellect! Chester. Thank you! A novel what? Analogy. Like when you know your logic to things. Oh. Look, it's the wind signal. Ladies and gentlemen, duty call! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, he said duty. What does it mean? Duty? No, the whammy signal. It means one of his flying squids have escaped yet again. You mean flying squids are real? Very much so. And Captain Whammy is quite the enthusiast when it comes to the preservation of his aerial cephalopods. Cephalo what? Flying squids. Aw, what's wrong, puppy? Nah, I don't really want to talk about it. Would you like to express your inner contemplations through song? Ooh, I think I like it. Oh no, my 45 minutes are up! I gotta go! You gotta go? I was in the middle of the song. How do I get out of here? What did you? Okay. I'm afraid only Tom Tom can set you on that journey. Hey, Tricky, can't you come do some kind of magic spell to get me back? <laughs> I can try. Let me just look into my bag of tricks. Here we go. I will correct that which is wrong in St. Thomasina where she belongs. It didn't work. Well, you'll be glad to know learn that you'll forever be protected from munchkin vampires. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, I have to get back! Calm down. You calm down, Pampers! <laughs> I'm gonna get fired!
fired. Do you understand? Fired. That's great. That cleared the way for you to open your toy store. I'm not opening a stupid toy store. Oh, but that would be so much fun. Life isn't all fun and games. It's serious business. And if you slap, you'll get chewed up and spit out. Bonnie. You know what? I've had just about enough of you. I need an adult. I need an adult. I need What are you doing? That girl is just losing her mind. I need my job. I gotta get out of here. What do we do, Captain Lemon? What do we do? Quick, pick up somebody's tranquility. Hey. This should help calm her down. Thomasina. What was that? That, my crazy little friend, was a dose from the bucket of tranquility. Are you feeling any better? You know what? I'm out of here. Good luck finding Tom Tom. Stop. about your plan you work hard and let your man see your little daughter or your son stop and think what you said when you made the promise on day you went did you train your vows and for your job i know that you feel justified to work hard because you feel Take a look, the same old story in a different book. In 20 years, you're gonna wonder where time has gone. Stop, appreciate that now. When your show's over, you can take a bow. Cause you live your life like a superstar. I know that you feel justified to work hard because you can. and offer all types of fruits. But I couldn't do it if I didn't have my roots. Without my roots, I'd just be a big fat stick. You don't want to be a stick, do you? No. Hey guys, I'm sorry I was being such a jerk earlier. Why didn't you just let me go? Because we're a family, and as Tom Tom always says, Better families means better communities, means better cities, means better states, countries, and world. <gasps> And a better world is always a better place to live in. Tom Tom, is it really you? Boy, it sure is good to see you all again. Tom Tom! We knew you'd find yourself. How long has it been? Too long. Why didn't you guys find me sooner? We were always here. You just forgot about us. Don't worry, I'll never leave again. Tom Tom, while we are excited to see you again, I regret to inform you that you can no longer reside here in Clownsville. What? Why not? Because you're married. And you have a new family now. Yeah, one that loves you as much as we do. But you can always come visit when your daughter does. Sammy? Sure, she comes here all the time. Well, I guess it's time to go. Go on, Tom Tom, you have a toy store to open. Well, I guess it's time I get out of here. Well, give it to her. No! Give it to her. No! Give it to her. I'm the rightful owner. Let her acquire her own miniature war hero. Just give it to her. Fine! Thomasina! How do I get out of here? Here. Really? Gee, thanks, Wendleton. Not a problem. Group hug!
Captain Whammy. I'll never forget. I love you, Captain Whammy. I'll never forget. I love you, Captain Whammy. I'll never forget you. I love you, Captain Whammy. I'll never forget you. I love you, Captain Whammy. I'll never forget you. I love you, Captain Whammy. I'll never forget you. Oh, Mr. Toughneck, I must have dozed off. I'm so sorry. What's that? So how are we doing with everything? Well, I have a problem. Oh? Yeah, see, I was thinking about what you said earlier about how uh, if you can run a good family, you can run a great business. Of course, that saying passed down from my family tree. Well, I quit. Wait, why? My family is my business. Wait, no, don't go, Thomas Enoch. Don't go, I buy you Chinese food. Why do you open a toy store? What made you do it? Your uncle and a few of my friends. But when I grow up, I want to be just like you. If that's what you really want, then go for it. Otherwise, you'll be reliving my dream. When I was about your age, my daddy used to say, Snap out of your silly little dreams, girl. I heard his words and grew up fine. All my dreams got left behind Soon I lived the kind of life that he did So now I apologize for treating you this way Never let anybody steal your dreams, boy Work real hard to reach your goal But don't forget to feed your soul What's the point if you aren't happy?